He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Psalms chapter 40 verses 3. Hey babes and welcome back to your weekly Wednesday wellness check with your bestie Dohi Sama. And before we get started, I want you to take a deep breath and count down from 10 with me. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, our discussion for today is focused on the day at hand. Now, I am myself guilty of having really big projects or things that I want done by certain days. And I can get so caught up in, oh, I need to do this on today. So that way by tomorrow I can have that done. Then the next day I can have this done. And finally, by that end day, everything's complete. Everything's peaches and greens, right? But sometimes we get so caught up in getting to the big picture and getting to the end that we take we forget to take the time to focus on the day at hand today is a brand new day a new day to try again we have brand new mercies we are renewed day by day there's more grace for us today there's more love for us that God is pouring on us that we can pour onto other people it is a brand new opportunity a clean slate to try again to give it your best and don't be stressed today Day is your day and it should be a great day even if all you did was give somebody a hug even if all you did was offer solace or maybe you offered a meal or maybe you started that plan in your head even if you didn't finish it you accomplished something so today I want you to take a moment to simply stop and think about what it is you have accomplished, even if it's something so simple as taking a breath, because guess what? Not everybody else is as fortunate as you to breathe on their own. What I am trying to say is if you don't notice your days and all your growths and all the great things that you have accumulated through one day, you can get boggled down. You can get tired. You can stress yourself out and be mean and put yourself down because you are not noticing what you have did, what you have accomplished. You are somebody's light. You are somebody's hope. You literally could have saved somebody's life today and you would have never even known. Today is your day to chase your dreams to live life the way you want it and to be happy within yourself. As long as the Lord is guiding you, he will hold your hand. He will see you through it. He even tells us, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow is enough trouble in itself. When you wake up tomorrow, then you deal with tomorrow. But in the meantime, deal with today. And I just want to encourage you and say that I'm so proud of you for even making it to another day. If you got up, If you got out the bed, I'm proud of you for even doing that. I know life can life. It can be hard. It can be rough out here, but you are doing so much better than you think. And I really want you to appreciate all of your growth, everything that you've poured into yourself, everything that you've accomplished. Everything matters when it comes to you in the eyes of the Lord. He sees you. He sees where you're at. He sees where you have come from. He sees your ending. So on today, focus on what you can accomplish today. And what you can't accomplish today, don't worry about it. And yes, I know it can often be easier said than done. But trust me, friends, if you worry about things that are out of your control, all you're doing is making yourself feel down, feel sad and feel heavy laden. Lay your burdens at the feet of the father because he cares for us. And he promised that if we put on his yoke, it would be easy to bear. And if we gave him our burdens, he would carry it for us. He would do the heavy lifting for us. So today... Be happy with your day. Enjoy your day. Make memories for today. Spread love for today and keep joy 
in your day. On today, please remember, we are not being stressed or pressed, okay? None of that. Please be gentle on your mental. You are doing so much better than you think. Please make sure to hydrate, to eat, and to get you some rest when you need it. Please don't be out here overworking yourself. It'll make my heart sad. As always, I am rooting for you. I believe for you. I am your cheerleader advocating for you on today. And I hope that you always, always remember that the Lord does love and bless you. May he keep you. I love you. And I hope whenever you view this, you have an incredible day or an amazing night. Goodbye, guys.